despite the most incredible breakthroughs in medical science, human blood remains a precious, life-saving resource for which there is no substitute. This is why every blood donor plays a special role as a lifesaver. The blood bank's priority is to provide the safest possible blood to patients. Every single unit of blood that is collected is sent for processing and stringent testing by the blood bank's laboratories before it is transfused into patients. Now join me in the blood bank virtual space as I show you what happens to donated blood as it makes its way from vein to vein. The blood drawn from a donor is first diverted to a collection pouch which will fill sample tubes. Using highly sensitive testing procedures and sophisticated automated systems, the samples in these tubes are tested for diseases which can be spread through blood transfusion. These include the Human Immunodeficiency Virus or HIV, Hepatitis B virus and Hepatitis C virus, as well as diseases such as syphilis. Through the use of cutting-edge technology, we are able to test for the genomic materials of the HIV and hepatitis viruses. This allows us to reduce the window period of infection significantly. This window period is a time when the blood is infectious if transfused but the virus is still undetectable by laboratory tests. Apart from being tested for infectious diseases, blood samples are also tested for the blood type. As an added safeguard, all blood samples are also screened for antibodies. Samples with a high level of abnormal antibodies present can cause serious health problems if they are transfused to patients. Donated blood which is tested positive for any of the infectious diseases is immediately quarantined for disposal. They are sterilised using a high-pressure steam known as autoclave before being sent for incineration. At the Blood Processing and Inventory Laboratory, whole blood collected from donors is processed and separated into three components. Red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Blood usage is optimised as each of these blood products can be used individually for different patients. This means that up to three people can benefit from every blood donation made. All processed blood products are stored under carefully monitored and controlled temperatures. This keeps them in an optimal state until transfusion. Rare blood types may be frozen for future use to supplement low blood stock situations. Every day, the blood bank packs and dispatches both blood and blood components to hospitals in Singapore. Before a transfusion, group and cross-matching of the patient's blood sample with the donor blood will be done for compatibility testing. Now you know the process of donated blood doesn't just stop at your donation. There's round-the-clock action to make sure that only blood of the safest and highest quality is given to our patients. In fact, the blood journey only starts the moment it leaves your vein and won't stop until it reaches another vein. And with that, we conclude our journey to the blood bank virtual space.